Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. A lot of people say they don't like numbers, but they're kind of unavoidable. I mean, we run into them all the time, keeping track of account balances and speed limits and travel times and tip percentages. The list goes on and on. When you think about it, numbers really aren't all that bad. When they're just numbers anyway. Dun, dun, dun. In science, the familiar numbers are called scalars to distinguish them from other types of quantities. Most other types are only used by scientists and engineers, but the vector is much more common. No, no, not the character, the quantity. Vectors are used very often by programmers and pilots and police, even park rangers, whether they know it or not. Formally, we say a vector is a quantity with magnitude and direction. What the heck does that mean? Yeah, I know, it sounds horribly complicated. Let's break it down. Okay, so being extra careful here, a quantity is something you measure with a number. A magnitude is a size. So in this case, it's just the size of the number that was measured. The direction is what distinguishes a vector from other quantities. There are a ton of things we measure that have direction. In hot pursuit of dark blue sedan, traveling eastbound on I-94, between exits 197 and 198, radar reading 120 miles per hour, license plate Alpha 5 Charlie Echo 3 Niner, immediate backup is requested. There were two vectors in that call. We got a velocity from the 120 miles per hour and the word eastbound. Velocity measures motion, and the direction matters if you want to make any kind of prediction of where that speeder is going to end up. Also, zero velocity means zero motion, so it's a very easy quantity to understand. We were also given a position, but the way it was given didn't really make it clear. On I-94, between exits 197 and 198. Detroit represent! Position is weird though, because the zero is kinda up to you. If you can understand how position works as a vector, then you can understand how all vectors work. So we're gonna use it as the example for the rest of this video. In order to work with vectors, we need a coordinate system. The term coordinate system sounds kinda fancy, but it's just a collection of numbers assigned to places. We do this all the time with room numbers, building floors, addresses. Unfortunately, those systems aren't patterned enough to do the math that we need to do. If we're labeling position on the Earth, the most widely used system is longitude and latitude. The zero is located here, and you count from there either north, south, east, or west. The location given in the police call is a little over 42 degrees north and a little over 83 degrees west. So cool! Yeah, I know, right? I'm going to be a huge bore, though, and use the standard Cartesian coordinate system. It labels one direction, the horizontal, with x values, and the other direction, the vertical, with y values. And along each of those directions, directions, you can be either positive or negative. BAM! Solution! It's extremely mathematical, I know, but that's what makes it so handy. So do you know any good science or math puns? Please share in the comments. I'll take jokes too. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.